Hello, my dear student. Welcome back to our DRRR class, week 2. May I call you to feel the presence of the Lord as we start with our learning session. Let us invoke God's presence in our midst. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty Father, thank you for this wonderful day. We are thankful of the abundant gifts we received each day. Forgive us with all our shortcomings. Guide and inspire us always with your divine presence as we discover new things that will help us understand and take care of your creations better. This we ask through the intercession of our Mother Mary, one God forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, once again, I am your subject teacher and here are my contact details if you need it. Feel free to communicate respectfully. Here are the DRRR concepts that we learned from our previous learning session. Let us recall them together. First, earthquake hazard is anything associated with an earthquake that may affect the normal activities of people. This includes surface faulting, ground shaking, landslide, liquefaction, tectonic deformation, tsunamis, and sieges. Taking part in preventing and mitigating the effects of an earthquake should be everyone's concern. The Manila Trench has the capacity to move or trigger a tsunami about 3 to 5 meters high. Knowing what to do before, during, and after an earthquake could save lives. And a 72-hour survival kit is necessary in case of a disaster. Are there questions? Feel free to clarify during our synchronous meeting. The Philippines is located within the Pacific Ring of Fire. The Oceanic Philippine Sea Plate is subducting underneath the Philippine mobile belt along the Philippine Trench to the east. Philippine volcanoes are also one of the most costly and deadly volcanoes in the world. Let us explore more about this information as we learn other geological hazards that affect our country. For today's learning session, here are our learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to discuss the different geological hazards, analyze the causes of geological hazards, recognize signs of impending geological hazards, interpret geological maps, and apply mitigation strategies to prevent loss of lives and properties. A geologic hazard is one of several types of adverse geologic conditions capable of causing damage or loss of property and life. Geological natural hazards such as earthquakes and volcanic eruptions are triggered by activities taking place in the Earth's interior. Now, let us learn about geological hazards. Geological hazard is an extreme natural event in the crust of the Earth that pose a threat to life and property. For example, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, tidal waves, and landslides. Geologic hazards such as earthquakes, the landslides they induce, and volcanic eruptions are concentrated in the Pacific Ring of Fire and the seismic sea waves called tsunamis most commonly originate from earthquake shocks there as well. There are four types of geological hazards. We have earthquakes, flooding, volcanic eruption, and landslides. Let us learn more about this. First, earthquake. Earthquake is the result of a sudden release of stored energy in the Earth's crust that creates seismic waves. At the Earth's surface, earthquakes may manifest themselves by a shaking or displacement of the ground. Sometimes, they cause tsunamis which may lead to loss of life and destruction of property. 
Here are some types of earthquakes. We have tectonic, volcanic, explosion, and collapse. Next, floods. A flood is a body of water that covers land which is normally dry. Floods are common natural disasters that can affect millions of people around the world. Floods can also contaminate drinking water and lead to diseases. They are often caused by rivers, but overflowing lakes and seas can also cause flooding. There are two basic types of floods, flash floods and the more widespread river floods. Flash floods generally cause greater loss of lives and river floods generally cause greater loss of property. Floods also can be caused by ice jams on a river or high tides, but most floods can be linked to a storm or some kind. Moreover, here is a detailed illustration of the different types of floods based on its origin. We have river floods or fluvial floods, flash floods, man-made floods, coastal floods or storm, storm surges, urban floods, and fluvial floods. Next, landslide. A landslide is defined as the movement of a mass of rock, debris, or earth down a slope. Landslides are type of mass wasting which denotes any downslope movement of soil and rock under the direct influence of gravity. It is subdivide, subdivided by the type of geologic material, bedrock, debris, or earth. Mud flows or mud slides and rock falls are examples of common landslide types. Downslope movement or landslides are generally classified according to three prevailing factors, type of material, type of movement, and rate of movement. Here are some of the types of landslides based on the said factors. We have fall, topple, spread, translational slide, rotational slide, and flow. Volcanic Eruption Volcanoes erupt when molten rock called magma rises to the surface. Magma is formed when the Earth's mantle melts. Another way an eruption happens is when water underneath the surface interacts with hot magma and creates steam. This can build up enough pressure to cause an explosion. Volcanoes bring about hazards that differ for each volcano. Volcanic events such as a lava flow, ashfall, pyroclastic flow, and lahar are just some of the hazards due to volcanoes. Here are the different types of volcanoes based on their explosion. We have Icelandic, Hawaiian, Strombolian, Vulcanian, Plinian and Pelian. The Philippines is prone to geographical hazards due to its location in the tropics and the presence of communities at the base of mountains and hills. Here are the causes of natural hazards. Earthquakes and volcanic eruptions are triggered by activities taking place in the Earth's interior caused by convection currents in the molten rock in Earth's mantle below the crust. Landslides, rockfall, and mud flow slide down the slope due to gravity. They can be caused by earthquakes or by extreme weather conditions. Lastly, meteorological natural hazards are weather-related hazards such as heat, drought, forest fires, storms, floods, high water or heavy rain. It is therefore not just the natural geological hazards that people should be wary of but also several human-made hazards that could cause loss of lives as well. Here are some of the signs of an impending geological hazards. For earthquake, the smell of gas in areas where it had not previously mentioned, 
outbreaks in the form of scattered light, lightning, sparking closely spaced but not in contact electrical wires, bluish glow of the interior walls of houses, the unusual behavior of animals. For landslides, we have spring steeps or saturated ground in areas that have typically not been wet before, new cracks or unusual bulges in the ground, pavement or sidewalks, soil moving away from foundations, broken water lines or other underground utilities, rapid increase or sudden decrease in creek water levels, a faint rumbling sound. T-Box have mapped out the country's hazards, risks, and made the maps available to the masses to download and study. Here are some forms of geological hazards. We have seismic activities and active fault lines in our country. Another geological hazard map, a profile of landslide-prone areas in the Philippines and one of the landslide-prone provinces in the country is Nueva Vizcaya, our place. Without the proper hazard zoning and hazard evaluation, landslides are disasters just waiting to happen. As with all hazards, knowledge about the process in downslope, downslope movements enables scientists, engineers, and even ordinary persons to under, understand the risk involved when exposed to these hazards. Here are some of the precautionary and safety measures in dealing with landslide hazards. We have avoid building on unstable soil, avoid cutting down trees on steep slopes, know the landslide history of your community and plan where to construct your house. Also, make sure that your community has village tester risk committee or village plan to prepare the community in case of landslides. Also, preserve food, radio, torch lamp, drinking water, matches, batteries, and spread the landslide danger information among the community. Everybody must be aware of what to do in case of landslide. And there is what we call landslide hazard for red, no dwelling zone. For orange, build only with slope protection and intervention and continuous monitoring. Yellow, build only with continuous monitoring. The first strategy in prevention and mitigation is the use of susceptibility maps provided by the Mines and Geosciences Bureau. Relocation and evacuation should be made if there are structures identified as unsafe for the risk. Engineering solutions may also be employed to mitigate the effects of landslides. Here are some mitigation strategies to prevent loss of lives and properties. We have the use of buttress, shotcrete, coconut, rock nailing, structural wells, and anchors. Realizing the damage that a landslide may cause, it is therefore important to know how to recognize the signs of an imminent landslide, what are the things to be observed, and what can be done in the case a landslide occurs. The power of reforestation is ever effective to control landslide. Thus, let us always plant more trees. For your task this week, Answer Love of Love, Anti-Kaingin Practice Poster, found on page 166C of your textbook. See attached rubric for reference. I will explain better your activity during our synchronous discussion, so kindly attend. Now, let us recall the DRRR concepts you gained from our discussion. You can create a graphic organizer in your notebook if you want. First, mass movement is the downward movement of surface materials due to gravity. Geological hazards may be classified as sudden, landslides, mud flow and lahar, or slow, mountain formation, liquefaction and erosion. 
human-made disasters occur because of irresponsible actions against nature. Hazard maps are available for the public to view and use. And lastly, there are several causes of landslides. Some of these are load on the slope, oversaturation of the soil, and oversteepening of the, so of the slope. If you have any questions, feel free to clarify during our online meeting. Let us get to know one influential Filipino in the field of DRRR. He is Dr. Raimundo Santiago Punong Bayan. He was the former director of the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology or FIVOX. He served from 1983 to 2002. Punong Bayan became popular after handling two well-known calamities, the 1990 Luzon earthquake and his exceptional research knowledge and skills in mitigating natural hazards involving volcanoes and earthquakes and in helping to save thousands of lives during the explosive eruption of Mount Pinatubo in 1991. Hello once again, as we continue to learn in this new normal, let us be inspired with this Bible verse saying, Anxiety weighs down the heart, but a kind word cheers it up from Proverbs chapter 12 verse 25. In relation to our lesson, how important is emotional strength in times of disaster? You can put your insights in the attendance check of your SMU LMS account. Let us now have our closing prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your presence with us this day. As we depart from this space now, we ask you to bless us throughout the remainder of the day. Do not let the learning conversations of this gathering die, but instead, may they continue to ruminate within us and bear fruit in our learning encounter throughout the year until we find ourselves together again. We ask this in the name of Jesus and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. For the mode of submission of your outputs, you can communicate with me through our FB Messenger or our class GCAP. Submit your academic requirements in the SMU LMS on time. Feel free to keep in touch always. May Mary, our mother and patroness, inspire you always. God bless and keep safe always. See you in our synchronous meeting. Goodbye.